JB with Mass Epoxies again, and we're still back here working on the Matthews. And uh, Mark's going to talk to us now about glass in the boat. We're going to put 1708 fabric on the boat, which we showed you earlier. And we're going to talk a little bit about how we're going to approach this. Mark, where are we going with this? Okay, right now we're coming back. We just finished sanding. We've wiped the boat down. We're going to fill any small uh, little places in the boat where a screw might be missing or a seam or something. Just a little bit of Cabocillin epoxy, fill that. We're going to roll a coat of epoxy on the boat. Then we're going to hang our glass, drape it down dry, and then wet right through onto the already pre uh, pre wet boat. Okay, great. So we're going to we're going to take the low viscosity resin with some medium hardener, mix it up, which the guys are doing in the background here. We're going to take a roller and we're going to put it on with a roller. It's not a pitchfork; it's a roller. And uh, I know a lot of people use these these little foam rollers. I don't like them. They tend to leave a lot of air and bubbles behind. I like to use these. These are nylon bristle rollers. Um, it's a quarter inch nap nylon bristle roller with a nylon core and they're reusable. That's why I like them. And they don't leave any bubbles behind. So they're really nice to wet out with. And you haven't used these before, so have you? more epoxy. I haven't used that. Time. Yeah, yeah. So give that a go. Okay. Let's see how that works out. And um, we'll see how this comes across. And we'll be hanging the... Uh, whoops. <laughs> Mark's gotten us through to the second coat of glass on here. We'll finish wetting this out, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take some phenolic micro balloons, mix them in with the resin and hardener, create a slurry of material. That slurry is going to be a little bit wetter than like a pudding, and we're going to take that and we're going to put it on the surface here, and we're going to go ahead and squeegee it out with those squeegees and fill in all these little imperfections on this, just nice and light. And that, that slurry of phenolic micro balloons is going to make it so that it'll be real nice and easily sandable surface, and then it'll be ready for paint. And when it comes to paint, we could write a book about that on itself. Choose the paint you're most comfortable with. You're going to need to use some kind of a epoxy primer, and uh, whatever paint over that will look beautiful. But um, we'll be able to paint this tomorrow. This will have set up enough so that tomorrow we can come in and paint it. And remember that if we were using another epoxy system that had amine blush, we'd have to wash this whole surface off with water, then we'd have to sand it, then we could put our next coat on. And before we could paint it, we'd have to wait five to seven days. That would be at 75 degrees of Fahrenheit temperature. But because we're using a non-blushing epoxy, we can paint tomorrow. So thanks for being with us and watching this, and um, we'll show you the end result when we get it done. <laughs>